We've got Sebastian Lerondo Davis and Conchi Mehta from Swansea University and Museum Wales, uh, making friends and influencing people how to work together effectively. So, yeah, hello everyone, I'm Sebastian. I'm Kanji. We are undergrad biology students with Swansea University, doing a year in applied research, working with Swansea Museum and Amgeth for Cymru, Museum Wales in Cardiff on the digitization and conservation of the Mary Bill of Ashnickel Lepidoptera collection. Mary was a Swansea born Lepidopterist who traveled to four different continents in her 50s, scaling mountains in full Victorian dress, armed with a walking stick and a butterfly net. Her, collections ha her collection has over 9,000 specimens and is an important record of historical biodiversity. Except for a small selection of drawers that is currently on display at Swansea Museum, most of the collection is kept in store. We are working to digi digitize the collection using specialist equipment, and we are conserving the collection while tackling issues such as verdigris and pest damage. Today, we would like to share with you the success strategies that have made this work so well for us. The first is recognizing your own value and what you can bring to the table. Our core team of colleagues, Kanchi and I with the uni, Emma Williams with Swansea and Kirsty Lloyd with Cardiff, all come from different backgrounds within museums and academic settings. Swansea Museum has some fantastic natural science collections, but being a small regional museum also has limited resources, making digitizing a collection of this size a challenge. To make it work, Swansea Museum partnered up with the National Museum in Cardiff, who could provide the specialist equipment and expertise, and with the uni, who had us students that could contribute a year to the project, not just for carrying out the digitization and conservation work itself, but also to take part in the project management side of things, conceptualizing and executing plans and ideas, something I didn't think we'd be doing at first. When I started the project, my mindset was, as an undergrad with no professional experience in natural sciences, what can I really contribute to it? When really being like a blank slate was an advantage, as I think the most important attribute for anyone doing anything in science is having curiosity and enthusiasm to learn, which is exactly what we brought to the project and is really exactly what I needed. So it meant we could adapt to all the little situations that came up. The next strategy we found was effective communication. And we found two key components. The first was clear communication. Cheat sheets adaptive, and adaptive protocols allowed us to pool our knowledge as generalists, specialists, and students. From di written documents to visual layouts and video training guides, we did our best to document information in ways that were logical and accessible for anyone who needed to understand the project. Above is an example of a visual layout for one of the drawers. The different species are split into colored boxes, allowing anyone to understand what species they're looking at using the key in the margin. Uh, the second was consistency. Having weekly remote meetings allowed regular updates on project progress. Any questions or problems that arose during the week were noted for the meeting, so spam emails weren't being sent and built up in our inboxes. The consistency of the meeting also provided useful structure as we work between Cardiff and Swansea on different days weekly. So keeping our busy schedules organized amidst engagement events and other deadlines was essential. This type of communication facilitated a strong support system, having fantastic supervisors who wanted us to succeed and helped and encourage our learning. We spent months doing meticulous planning, which gave us a good start but problems always crop up along the way. We think having a good working relationship built on mutual respect and warmth towards each other goes a long way in establishing a strong support network. We can rely on each other to help tackle unexpected challenges, such as ever changing taxonomy. Fun. So what we learned through this project, it's important for institutions and individuals to recognize their own value. Everyone has something to offer. Clear and consistent communication makes a massive difference towards nurturing new successful partnerships and building a strong support system based on warmth and mutual respect creates a strong team. We hope that collaborations between museums and students in the future can benefit from our lessons learned. Take from us these strategies that are making this collaboration not only successful, but also enjoyable. Thank you all for listening and thank you to Natsuka for giving us the opportunity to present our project. Let's build a thriving community of networks and get the jobs done.